Hey guys, so it's time for another Dollar Tree DIY. So I thought I would share this with you guys. This is my new project and everything that I'm using, including the lighter, is all from the Dollar Tree. You only need a few dollars, I would say at most, probably like $15. But yes, stay tuned for this video. I will list everything that you will need, including I'm also going to show it in the video. But these are candle holders, so if you want to fancy up one of your rooms in your home, then stay tuned for this video really easy and of course you're going to need some tools so let's get started with that so for this video you're going to need everything that I have here from the Dollar Tree these nifty candlestick holders which is just like a grave you don't really need these these are the battery opera tea light candles you'll need some glass jars which I also have from the Dollar Tree and I have three of them one of them a little bit smaller some glue sticks you will need some adhesive glue. This is the E6000, but you can get this right here from the Dollar Tree, which works just the same. Also, you're going to need these pretty glass stones, which are always at the Dollar Tree. And these glass plates, which are also available at the Dollar Tree, guys. And please make sure that you have something to protect your surface with, because I wouldn't want you guys to get glue on anything and blame it on me, like I always say. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take that candlestick holder, and you're going to use your clear adhesive for the bottom portion of the candlestick holder. And you want to put that actually on the candlestick holder. And you want to make sure that it's centered right in the middle of that glass plate, which is also available at the Dollar Tree, okay? Now while that cures and dries, you're gonna take the next candlestick holder and you're going to use the glue on the top of the candlestick holder this time. And you can use a glue stick, a hot glue gun if you want to, but I use the E6000 because it's a little bit more stronger and sturdier. And you wanna make sure that it's aligned properly and you don't have any glue seeping off on the sides. If you do, you can either remove it after it dries, or you can just take a piece of cardboard or a Q-tip and remove the excess glue as it is drying. Now, while that cures and dries out, we're going to go ahead and we're going to decorate our little bowl. It's like a little fish bowl. I'm not really sure what you call these, but yeah. Now, this is the part where you're going to need the glue stick. You cannot use the adhesive, the E6000. I mean, you can if you want to, but I'm just going to forewarn you, if you use the adhesive glue, it's not going to dry quickly and you will find yourself sitting there holding the gems on for a few minutes each gem. And by that time, you'll never be finished with your project. So that's why I say the glue stick is going to be for this portion of the project or the hot glue gun, whatever you want to call it. And you want to go ahead and take your gems and whatever color you decide to do, you could do it in a pattern like I'm doing mine or you can do it. Green, white, blue, whatever tickles your fancy. Now, see, that's the reason why I showed you none of the E6000 because you will have to hold it. So I was just showing that just as a precaution. And the hot glue gun does dry, a glue stick does dry a lot quicker. And these actually do stay on really well. So you want to go ahead and you want to do that throughout the entire bottom portion of the the glass now just keep in mind you may have a little gapping spaces but that's okay because once you fill this jar up with little beads or glass jar beads whatever you want to call them you'll be fine now onto the next roll I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna use the green color though I should have did it like green white and blue but anyway who cares you know it's all this the same and I'm just gonna do the same exact technique as I did with the bottom row and that's just glue these gems on. Now be careful because the hot glue gun does get pretty hot. And um, yeah, I did kind of burn my fingertips a couple of times on camera, but you would have never known because I muted the volume. And the only thing I don't really care for too much about the hot glue gun is you ever notice that you get those little hot glue gun hairs? They're like little stringy glue gun hairs. Those are easy just to remove. We just want to just pick them off. No big deal. And now on to the next row, which is the blue. Now, the only thing that I found really strange, and not really strange, but disappointing at the Dollar Tree, and I've been to many different Dollar Trees, and they all have the exact same color stones, which is the green, blue, and white, or the green, blue, and clear ones. They don't have any other colors like black or um, the white ones that you can't see through or red or purple or pink. They don't have any of those colors. So 
that's the unfortunate part. So if you are willing to splurge, your mouth spends a couple more dollars, then you can go to like Walmarts and get like different colors, which would probably be really, really pretty, especially if it goes with your background. If you can find something that's black and white or gold, that is even more prettier. But at the Dollar Tree, I've only been able to find these colors. And fortunately for me, this is the color of my actual dining room. So it actually goes well. It worked out for me. So as you can see, I've done all of this. And it is very tedious and time consuming. It does take a lot of time. So be patient with that. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take that candlestick um, that you know we let cure and I'm going to now do the top portion and allow the bowl to sit on top of it and cure so for the bottom as you see I'm just going to take the glue gun and I'm going to take some rocks and I'm going to glue them onto the actual plate portion so this just acts as our stand and it gives it a little bit more fancier touch it looks a lot better than just sitting by itself look at that so if you wanted to you can use some tea light candles which are absolutely cute. I didn't want to use the battery operated one because they were so dull. Like you really couldn't see the light through with them. So I wouldn't really suggest using them. Go ahead and get yourself some real tea light candles. And they are also available at the dollar store. Or these, which are also available at the dollar store. These also will fit inside. And these are the Airwick ones. I think that's the name brand of them. But they come in different scents. They're also available at the dollar store and you can use them as well. And they'll give up much more light. So yes, you guys, something really simple. As you can see, the middle one is a little bit smaller because that's how it planned out. I got a smaller bowl. And I hope you guys enjoyed this project. Make some for yourselves. It's a great Christmas gift. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay deep and delicious. And I'll see you guys on a soon-to-come video. And I love you guys. Bye.